All right, what up everybody? Welcome to Castle Tech. Okay, got my survival kit. Uh, we'll be heading to the uh, store in a bit. So here's my new kit I just got. Uh, so when I'm riding, um, these are the two GoPro sessions. These ones last really good, excuse me for the uh, ashy hands, but hey, what can I say? Um, <clears throat> freezing. All right, so these are the two GoPro sessions. I basically use those um, on the outride. Um, and these last a good hour and a half um, when I'm riding in extreme cold, mind you. Now, for example, if I go too far, get lost, um, or whatever the case may be, which seems to happen, I'm not gonna lie, a lot. Um, <clears throat> If these start to die, then I use these two as the, um, you know, the backup ones. So one is mounted on my shoulder strap and one is mounted uh, on the front of the bike. Um, one of these are mounted. Actually, hold on. Let me get this straight here. All right. This is on the back of the bike underneath the seat. This one is on top of the helmet. Um, and this one is on the shoulder. And this one is like, I keep it in the bag or something like that. Um, these are the two lights that I use, the Lumina 1000s. Um, these are excellent. I also use the um, 650s. I don't know why they're not in here. I think they're in my bag. Um, <clears throat> this extreme cold that I'm riding in right now, the 650s, um, they go in like an hour, literally. I mean, the red light starts coming on and they're, you know, they start to die. All right. So... I was like, yo, got to go, you know, bigger. And of course, being a brother, got to have the emergency chapstick, which is a mandatory must, you know, even though I'm the only one in the trails. But, you know, you come out somewhere, you know, and somebody sees you and your lips are like, blah, you know, <laughs> you got to have the chapstick on deck. All right. Because um, licking your lips, LL Cool J style, that ain't going to help you in this extreme weather. You got to have the chapstick on deck. Now, if you go to Walgreens, if you go to a gas station, this is eight ninety nine. But if you go to Walgreens or something, this thing is um, like seven dollars or something. But if you go to, um, I forgot the name of the store. I don't remember. But anyway, it was two of them in the pack for seven ninety nine. So I always keep one, like I said, on deck in the bike kit. Now these uh, lights, I kind of put them a different way because if they go on, you know, they'll start to heat up. Um, yeah, and that's basically about it. All right, so. With that being said, and it's extremely pitch dark, so I got this thing right here. Uh, I saw this. This is a 2600 Lumina um, bike light. So this I'm going to install, I guess, today. And um, this is supposed to be crazy. 2600. All right. So the output of this is supposed to be crazy. So I'm going to test this out. Um, <clears throat> here we go new bicycle light and see if it's actually worth the money i mean it was only like 50 bucks but um these things are i got these on sale i didn't buy them all at the same time i always buy them when they're on sale um but um you know and right now these the 1200s are on sale for 70 dollars so i'm gonna see if this is actually worth it and have like two of these and these things are heavy i mean man you can slap somebody you know bear or deer comes up to you you know you can take this off and you know, smack the ish out of them. Um, so like I said, I just got this, I charged it up. Only thing I'm not a fan of is this type C cause this is like a stupid, stupid design. Like I look how long that is. All right, all right. There we go, little black cable. All right, now this is the thing. You can't charge this with any standard type C. Uh, let me put these two things together. I know this is probably not a good picture, but believe it or not, um, the tip of this is long, all right? And the tip of this one is short. So if you have a standard one, it won't go in the hole, you know? It's too short. Pow, pow. You know, if you need a long one, go in the hole, all right? So it almost feels like if you lose this, you won't be able to charge this thing um, because it can't get into the hole because of the design. So that kind of stinks. All right, so here we go, charge it up. I know it's probably not gonna do any justice here, but I'll show you guys a little light output. Ow. Single light, big light. All right, so I'm not too sure how this is gonna perform. Like I said, I just got this. Literally just put the 
things on it. And this thing has got some crazy weight. I mean, I can't emphasize enough. Like literally this thing is like, you know, so yeah. <clears throat> so uh, gotta wait till like, I don't know, maybe like two o'clock or something like that. Go out and check this out. But I'm actually going to take some pictures today. So today won't be a test day. Oh shoot, I have something here that says hot. Um, so yeah, anyway. That's about it. So I gotta make some modifications to the bike. I'll show you guys. And also I gotta give you guys a review of the one up rack on Wednesday and winter. Um, <clears throat> so you guys can see exactly um, how this is, set, well, how I set it up. Um, so that's gonna be pretty dope. Um, on Wednesday, it's a double bike. And on winter, it's the single bike, but I can expand it to a, a double bike tray. Um, so yeah so that's gonna be interesting um but um yeah so hold tight guys and uh i will be back i mean so this look at this this thing is like ah. all right let's put this back in the box yeah put it back in the box heavy <laughs> 